YouTube, 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 it's Rico, man, back with another video, y'all see what we got going on, man, we got the Celtics versus Heat game, four highlights, man, yesterday that game went crazy, um, Miami won by three, but Tyler Herrero, Tyler Hero, I mean, went crazy that game, dropped 37, and he only 20, playing like he been here before, and I already told y'all, Miami definitely got a Got a great team, man. Because this is going to be the first team since the big three to make it to the finals with Eric Spolstra, man. Shout out to Eric Spolstra. He's underrated as a coach. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. Um, to get to the finals with really no superstars at all, that's a big accomplishment as a coach in itself, man. A lot too many coaches can say, oh, I made it to a finals with legit almost no superstars. Jimmy Butler, everybody is 50-50 on calling him a superstar. We know he's an all-star because he made all-star games before, obviously, but people aren't all going as far as calling him a superstar too many times. I would say, in a way, he's a superstar, and um, Miami definitely got one on their hands, but um, a lot of people, like I said, don't look at him as a superstar just more of an all-star but it is what it is though still it's still a great accomplishment to Eric Spolstra because he's taking a team that's full of undrafted late first and second round picks and he's just going crazy man getting that team to where they trying to be which is another finals run ever since that Miami Heat big three they ain't been there and I don't know and about what six years Really, that ain't a long time, to be honest with y'all. Six years since your last finals appearance really ain't a long time. So, shout out to Eric Spoelstra, man, because he's definitely underrated. But we're going to go ahead and start the screen record, get this video started, because this game just had a lot of action, like, from start to finish, man. You can't be disappointed with this game if you watched. Yeah. And be... And have too much patience. And this goes to nice shot. shot. Get going early. Marcus Smart gets inside. He banks it home. Duncan Robinson fires to Crowder. Nice, nice ball feet inside. Movement. Out of bio. Falling away. Shot is. A lot of players trying to have that turnaround fade in the shot. That's a nice shot. Walker guarded by Duncan Robinson. The ball moves across. Jalen Brown, the foul line jumper. Easy to pull up. Kemba Walker back out to Smart. Smart on the drive. Walker, jumper is good. But the that fine, was three. It, it really takes pressure off him to be great down the stretch because he's played within the flow. Point of three. Easy money. Jalen Brown. It was smart on Kemba Walker to get Duncan Robinson on Kemba Walker. Alley up and bam nice out of bio throw. And a lot of backup centers in these playoffs for the Boston Celtics. All various hey, skills nice shot, and nice abilities. Shot. Williams tip misses. Ball deflected. Picked up by Kemba Walker. Walker running. Drives left-handed. Off the glass. Nice We've got another black woman in this country. There was no charges brought, but rather only a charge for endangerment. The Godala, Jake Crowder trade, but has too. hardly played. Played a little bit in the bubble. Is tucked. And low-key, he could draw the ball, too. That's another thing about... Tyler, because he's definitely able to shoot that ball with the best of the best, and he's able to drive the ball. So it's never too too bad to not be able to uh, have both like both levels of scoring in your game because you want to be a player that can score on the outside and inside when needed. So shout out to him for having that complete package, man. But uh, Miami definitely got to keep this core team together, man. No matter what happens, if they even if they were to say, I'm not saying they're going to blow a 3-1 lead, but even if they blow the 3-1 lead, this team has to stay together because they also proved that they can hang with the best of the best in the competition. So they definitely got to keep these guys together no matter what. But uh, I, I, I got them I got them closing out Boston next game. But um, I don't see them blowing a 3-1 lead. I just don't see it. My, Boston... They had their chances of winning these games. It's not like Boston never had a chance in this series. Because they definitely did. And I would say 
based on what I've been seeing a lot of people say, they were basically the favorites in this series, but Miami just proved everybody wrong. Miami just flat out playing great defense and great offense. You can't get mad about that, man. This team definitely just got a whole lot of diamond in the roughs that people wasn't expecting to be there. So shout out to Miami, man. They definitely just unlocked, pretty much unlocked all those players' potential, man. And they just going crazy with it. So shout out to Eric Spostra and the Heat organization. And shout out to the players for doing what they doing. Not not too many coaches and team teams can say that they did they done something like this without a legit superstar. Like I said, I call Jimmy Butler a superstar in his own way, but not a lot of people see him as a superstar, so it is what it is, but Miami definitely proved everybody wrong with this series. Tyler Hero, Walker to Hayward. Hayward inside Williams, he's fouled. Nope, thought I heard a whistle. Williams then banks it home. Nah, that's a foul. Ripped by Williams. Williams throws it ahead to Wanamaker, goes up for the layup, hey, lays it nice in. Take, nice take, Robert nice take, nice fast to seeing him play on the offensive end, especially. The new dad nice fires three. up minutes in that game three. Said he was gassed after the first five minutes. Hero, nice fake to get rid of Tatum, and then knocks it down. Hey, his shot is pure money. No cap, advantage. his shot is pure money. Lost Help the and back, Duncan. Turns, shoots, and scores. Tyler here. I mean, five point field lead. day out there. Want to make her drive, trying to draw a little contact. Yeah, still nice trying up. to get on track. Still has not scored. Throws it up for Tice. Nice Hasn't scored, but that's his third assist. Look at Dollar deflected. And it falls into the hands nice of Butler. Got the shot off in time, but Tice gets the offensive rebound and a new 14. Smart for three. That's good. Easy money. Crowder. Shot clock down to three. Butler. Step back jumper is good. Tice, guys, low shooting That's percentage is low back. score. Is it more of good defense or just guys Ooh. aren't knocking down shots? Is that nice a e. little high percentage shot there? He's averaging almost eight rebounds a game in the series. And banks that one beautifully. He's going back in right now. But and he just Miami definitely got a future all star on their hands right there. Dragic. Count it and one. Dragic Under a minute is to play good. here. Second quarter of game four. That time, Jalen Brown. So you can score at all levels because not every playoff game is the same as Butler driving. And also, I'm going to keep saying this too. I don't care if you a diehard Miami Heat fan. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And I'm a LeBron fan, but this Heat team is arguably the best over the Miami Heat Big Three. And the only reason why I say that is because this team is able to go deeper than the starters. People know Miami Heat Big Three era, the team can only go so far here and there. But majority of the time, they could not go past the starters let alone the big three itself they could not just go past that they really had no options like this miami heat has right here yeah we won the yeah they won the two chips and stuff we salute to them because uh, one of those they almost could have lost as well they could have been one for three but um uh, they finished with two out of four so it is what it is but um uh, well, I should say they could have been one out of four, but they finished with two out of four. So it's still good. They won 50% of the finals runs they had. But at the same time, man, hey, give some of these players on this current Miami Heat roster and put them on that past Miami Heat Big Three roster. Miami, you can't tell me nothing. They would have won all four of those finals runs, period. 2011, they needed guys like Tyler out there. They needed guys like Duncan out there. Even Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder is even hitting shots that that some of the players in 2011 finals failed to hit. Mario Chalmers, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was a great starter for Miami at the time, but you can't tell me he's better than Drogic. Give us Drogic over Mario Chalmers in that series or in any series, period, from that time. Miami would have had a better chance of winning every finals. Give us Tyler Harrow over who else? Um, trying to think. 
You could give us Tyler Harrow over anybody, to be honest, outside of that big three. Miami would have been some dogs back then. Cause they could have did way more than what they did if they had these players, like I said, come into that team. Because Shane Battier, he played great in that last finals, which was 2013 finals that they won. But come 2014, he could not buy a shot for nothing. Same with um, Ray Allen. Ray Allen played somewhat great in 2013 all year when he came to Miami. But come 2014 finals, he really couldn't get shots here and there like he usually was the season before. And he also declined that bad too as well in that series. Wade, we already know the story about him. Um, People fail to recognize too as well. After that 2011 finals, his... His production was declining every finals because he went from 26 or whatever from that 2011 series down to what 19 down to I, I can't remember the exact finals points per game production he had from 2012 and 2013 but come 2014 arguably was his worst finals as a um, as the big three, because he had only 15 points that series. Only 15 points per game that whole series. Same with Bosch. Bosch declined bad after that 2011 finals. His points was just up and down. 2012, I think he finished with, what, 14 or something like that points per game, but that was still bad, given who he is. I don't care, yeah, he was the third option, but at the end of the day, with his offense, with his offensive skill set, he should have had more than what he produced in 2012, 2013, and 2014. Especially 20, um, 2013, because 2013 was just worse. People fail to recognize that Bosch only put up 11 points in eight boards. Uh, 11 points and only eight boards in that series, and you mean to tell me Tim Duncan not even having an outside shot like Bosch had put up more than him with 18 and on top of that 12 boards. He averaged a double-double. Bosch couldn't do that. Even in the 2014 finals, he still failed to put up a double-double. I think he finished with 14 points and nine boards that whole series. Even Dirk Nowinski, if he was the third option on that Miami Heat team, would have put up better numbers than that. What Bosch didn't do in 2011, what also people fail to recognize, is that he didn't shoot the ball as much as he should have. Because Dirk was shooting everything. He was shooting inside, mid-range, three balls, all of that. But Bosch only put up one three out that whole series. And on top of that, you talk about a team that was playing zone Ever since y'all went up 2-1. After that team went up went up with a zone, after they uh, were down 2-1, Miami had no answers to outshoot that zone. They had nobody. Mario Chalmers couldn't shoot nothing. Wade, he could only drive majority of that series. He wasn't really shooting the ball as much either, but he had the weaker coverage of the zone. Bosch. Him and Mario Chalmers, I don't know. They they both pissed me off that series. Yes, Bron pissed me off that series, but at the same time, I can't get mad at Bron because Bron had the most coverage out of that zone defense. If y'all go back and watch that series, Bron had two to three bodies on him every single time he touched the ball. And even when you look at how they were using their defense, they never made no ISO on him. If he would have got past whoever was in front of him, they already still automatically had two bodies waiting for him at the room. Well, also people don't fail to recognize as well that they had people clogging the paint. So it don't matter if he would have got past one defender on on the drive, he still had two more that he possibly had to get past just to get to the rim and score. So you can't put all of that 2011, all oh, Brian messed up. No, the whole team messed up on that series because the whole team failed to outshoot the Mavs the whole series. Once Miami went up 2-1 and, and Mavs started playing zone, nobody could buy a bucket. Nobody. Bron couldn't shoot. He arguably what he is right now, he ain't better offensively in 2011 than what he is now. Because 2011, he was still the same Cavs, Bron, arguably, 
But now, after that series, the following year, he y'all automatically seen a bigger, big difference in his offensive game and stuff. He wasn't the same person he was anymore. So he was, he added a jump shot to his game. He was able to shoot, drive, facilitate better as well. Um, then when they brought in Shane Battier and those guys, then those teams put shooters around them, and no team could really play zone against them no more. But once 2014 finals came, which was their worst finals, arguably out of every finals, they could not buy a bucket from none of those shooters from the 2013 year. So everybody just got to look at it what it is, what it is, man. The facts is facts, man. But um, this team, like I said, is arguably better than that Miami Heat big three just because the simple fact they don't got to count on just three players to score all game. They got guys on the bench and, and outside of their main core to be able to score. Harold, Duncan, Bam, Dragic, Butler, and I forgot who else all on their bench, but they got a way better squad. It's just that simple, man. But we're going to go ahead and continue on because it's got five more minutes. Drives it to the rim. Spins, gets inside, flips it up, shot, misses. Sorry for the and rent, though, but I'm just calling it what it is, man. I'm seeing That's the big the difference between I'm both those squads, man, top. and this team. Dragic sets, fires, and put them, Dragic put them around down. Wade, Bosch, and LeBron. They would have won every finals Kevin they went to. little floater in the paint. It has been an offensive struggle right now for the Boston Celtics. Nice feed good inside. Pass, Marcus pass. Smart sets it. Smart drove the zone and dropped it to Tice. Tatum finally gets on the board. Easy money three. Nice double team. Out of bottom. Good ball movement. Gets in the paint. Short jumper. Nice soft touch from the big guy. Uh, out of bottom. Out of bottom. Marcus Smart kicks it out. Tatum steps into that one. And Tatum back to back. Dragic, smart in pursuit. Pull up hey, baseline jumper. Shot, Smooth. We're trying to find some room. Robert Williams shuts him off. This is a heck of a defensive sequence, but it's still going to end in a Three. bucket possession on the defensive end. But Jimmy Butler able to hit the shot. Hayward. Well, yeah, they definitely so miss Hayward majority Tatum, of this series, bro, because he definitely gave them a more the scoring power. Nice and Gordon but the thing is, like I said, Miami got foul. great defense and great offense. Well, they, they can match whatever so Boston is doing on the offensive end with those Tatum amount of guys nice that I just named. But, uh, on yeah, they the definitely out. made the playing field even. But Miami is just better, man. It's just that simple. Miami is just a better team this series. Despite not many people thinking they was going to be able to beat Boston. Boston got a great team as well, but this Miami team is just out there trying to prove something. And they on a mission. Good, good drive. Man. This guy has great confidence and gets it done. Hey, good take, good take. Kemba Walker stops back up top. Tatum, pull up, two pointer. The pull up. As the shot clock and I'm not going to be pausing no more, y'all. Don't worry. Well, I know I went on that rent. So the rent kind of took up majority of this video, made it longer than what it is. But uh, it did what it is, though, man. If y'all rocking with the video, y'all going to watch it regardless. In and out and in again. Well, they're in out of bio. Where do they find offense? Oh, nice feed ahead. Nice fast break. Easy fast break. Kicks it out in the corner. Brown feet inside for the slam for Tice. It's all players in the playoffs in minutes per game at 40 per game. The ball movement. Hero fires away. Puts it in. Time. Hero the fourth for the Celtics. Like I said, man, put these guys with that Miami Heat big Hero's three, man. It. We Hero easily, they would have easily won home. every finals He's they went to. Job with those. I'm not so sure. Tatum off one foot, knocks it down, and it's back to four. Hero with seven to shoot. Here a long three-pointer. Hey, Tyler nice three. Nice three. Brown. Brown on the drive, stops in the paint. Marcus Smart lays it up and in. Good cut, going to back in. Double teamed. And they're doubling off Iguodala. He's got to be ready to shoot. Oh, what a move from Dragity. Butler spins, falling away, puts it up, puts it in. Nice Jimmy fade. Butler, a nice big fade. Boy. Jimmy Butler takes matters in his own hands. Tatum tries a three. It's good. Jason Tatum continues. Butler 
in this game got very close at the end. Like I said, Miami only won by three. Easy three. Backing in, feet inside. Hero with a left hand. Timeout. Sit back out. And like I said, Hero is only twenty. Only twenty years old. And that boy is out there killing. Drop 37 this game. Finds Tatum. Tatum tries a three. It's good. Jason Tatum makes it. Hey, I like it though. Tatum, Tatum ain't going down without a Brown fight. And bro. It's good. Jalen Brown from downtown. And it's a three point. Three. Butler hits it. Oh yeah, they ain't had Celtics no time to really three. get a three off. It's only Tice one second. Throws it to length. Ball deflected. And that's it. Yeah, man, that game, I know Miami, uh, not Miami, but Boston, I know they kind of upset about that one because that's a game that they could have had one, but it is what it is. Miami's just a better squad. They got offense and defense. And on top of that, they got guys that you wouldn't expect to be playing the way they playing just out there balling, man. So you can't do nothing but give credit to that Miami Heat, man. They just going crazy, but... At the end of the day, man, I still got the Lakers coming out the West, and I got them still winning it in the um, finals against whoever gets to that finals out the East. But, uh, man, you still can't you can't underestimate that Miami Heat squad, man, because they just got nothing but shooters, dogs on defense, and going crazy with it, man. They making everybody realize, hey, we also a great team, too. Y'all can't overlook us either. So, shout out to Miami. They doing what they doing. And that's pretty much it, man. We're going to see if they close out the series tomorrow. But other than that, though, man, if y'all enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand new. And we'll see you guys later on with more videos. Peace.